Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Hey, what's the matter? Is it okay if I have yours? I can't wait to dig in. Should we taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. <laughs> hey, what the hell is this? I mean, what kind of <laughs> curry's supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild? This just stinks. I mean, it's gritty too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Well, wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of unethical. Don't look at us like that! Oh. So it's our job to taste it first, to make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean! Then try mine first, Yosuke-senpai. It's guaranteed delicious! You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? Well then, chow time! <laughs> I, I can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. K Kanji, that's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, uh, how do I put this? It tastes really, um, boneless? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. Not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... like I'm eating plain oatmeal. 
It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough. I think it tastes good. <sighs> Nanako-chan. <sighs> okay. Try my next. Uh, I don't know about this, but I think it'll taste good. This time for sure. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow, this tastes awful. You have to try this, Yosuke. Dude, not after you say that. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. I think this tastes good, too. Nanako-chan! Oh, yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. Try Rise Chan's! I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers! Senpai? Sure enough. One strike. Well, Yukiko and Chia's didn't taste good either. But at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> It's a taste too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I, I. <laughs> it, it's spicy, but it's still good. Nanako-chan. Hm, I knew it. Nanako-chan's the most mature person in this room. Crocodile tears. Oh, yeah. Didn't you make one too, senpai? You did? Oh. <sighs> this is really good. I never had an omelet with fried rice this good. <sighs> it's amazing. Today, my teacher said, Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Teacher gave us all chocolate, everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. more chocolate. I made it myself. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you.
Chia said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself, so it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown-up, big bro, so I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste, so I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive, so I added vinegar and ponzu sauce, too. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. Yukiko, are you all right? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. I'm glad I found you. Yeah, something's not right here. It's too dangerous to wander around separately. Here, eat this. It'll cheer you up. No! Yukiko, calm down. You need to snap out of it. This isn't like Yukiko. If she was in her right mind, she wouldn't be putting her friends' lives in danger like this. <sighs> There's no way around it. I'm sorry, Yukiko. Yukun, my boxed lunch will help bring you back to normal. Are you all right, Yukun? I'll have you healed in no time. Have you returned to your usual self, Yukiko? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, I brought a boxed lunch. You need to eat it. Impossible. She hasn't snapped out of it? Open wide. <laughs> um, is it delicious? There's more. so tired that he fell asleep. Hmm, people can swallow food while they're asleep, right? I 
guess I should feed him something soft just in case. Ah, oh, there she is. Huh? Yous with you? Um, Yosuke-kun? And everyone else, too? What's going on? Sheesh, what are you talking about, Yukiko-senpai? The case has been solved. Yep, but for some reason, you and Yukun hadn't shown up. That's why we all came looking for you. <clears throat> so, what were you two doing here? Huh? Naoto-kun's here, too? Let's all eat my box lunch to celebrate the case being solved. Huh? The uh, box lunch? She didn't say what I thought she said, right? Um, I assume your employees at the Amagi Inn made this for us? No, I made it myself. I put my heart into it. Huh? Wait, didn't your box lunch get all messed up? Oh, don't worry about that. It won't make a difference after you eat it. Yosuke, you'll try it, won't you? Uh, isn't that a bit... Hey, Kanji, where do you think you're going? Get off my back! This ain't the time for bluffing! I I'm too young to die! Oh wait, there's probably not enough for me anyways. I, I can't take any if there won't be enough for my senpai. <laughs> you don't need to be so modest. I brought plenty. Holy crap. Ah! <laughs> Come on now, I want to see clean plates. Yuki-chan, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Don't worry. I'll make sure to lean on you and the others if I'm ever feeling stressed. Please help me out if that happens. Really? <laughs> You've gotten so dependable all of a sudden. was how the chefs did it. Yuki-chan, um, I smell something burning. Are you okay? I'm okay, for now. You're improving as a manager, but I think your progress as a cook is still bumpy. Isn't it really hot in here? I feel like I could wring out my shirt and fill a tub. The cause is unknown, but the temperature and humidity here have suddenly risen. 
I've got a real bad chill down my spine, though. My danger antenna's at three bars. Why are you looking at me? Uh, no reason. I've been sensing a presence this whole time, too. Could that be it? I don't know what, though. What's wrong, Korochan? Everyone be careful. We're getting a powerful shadow reading there. I knew something like this would show up! It might be a good idea to retreat. Dude, why is it coming this way? I'm not getting caught by that thing! We gotta get them off our tail! Why is he coming after us? Give us a break, damn it! Hey, there's a fork in the road up ahead. Let's split up. One group needs to draw it away. The other needs to catch the enemy off guard and attack. Gotcha! I'm going left! I'll head right. Huh? Where'd that muscly thing go? It seems to have pursued the other team. Oh no! That macho thing's coming this way! But this is an FOE. There's no easy way to stop it. Normal physical strikes won't do. So we'll need a different means of attack. I know. What is it? The method uses food, so it really wounds me to do this. There's no time to argue about it! If we get caught, it's over! Yes, some sacrifices must be made. What is this method you refer to? Yukiko-senpai, do you have a boxed lunch with you right now? Huh? Mm-hmm, it's right here. I made it with Chie and the other girls because I thought we'd want a bite to eat. Are you hungry? I fear this still won't be enough. What about you, Chie-senpai? Do you have anything you cooked yourself? Me, specifically? I do, but, uh, is this okay? It's a muffin I baked at the food stand. I baked some cookies, too. I gave them to Chie-senpai earlier. I asked her to share them with everyone if you got tired. Oh, right! Here they are! Oh, I'm starting to see where this is going. Um, how about some beef stroganoff? I cooked it and put it in a rice ball earlier. I made sure to give it to Igis. Oh, no, I don't need any genuine food. Huh? Ours is genuine food, too! Don't worry, this will be a pretty intense addition. This is Fuka-san's rice ball. Its interior temperature has doubled since it was made, and it is still rising. I see. Incredible. But what are you going to do with these? If you want to feed them to the others for a pick-me-up, I don't think we have that kind of time. We're going to launch them. Huh? If we have Zenson shoot these one after another, I expect it will do severe damage. But there's no more cooked food. Why not mix them all together? One arrow may be weak, but many combined is a fearsome volley. Ah, good idea. Let's mix them all together and throw it at the enemy. Wait, what? That's so mean. It, 
Is it? Well, okay. It's a chemical weapon. I call this Mystery Food X, the final edition. It's a weapon that's surpassed all my expectations. Zensong, all that's left is to fire this at the FOE. All right, leave it to me. <laughs> Was that voice kanji <laughs> Sorry, we'll explain later. Yeah, we need to deal with that macho guy first! Leave it to us. We just finished crafting a brutally lethal weapon. Isn't brutally lethal kind of redundant? <laughs> ah! It's coming around again! I hesitate to give the order knowing what went into this, but Zensan, if you please. I'm to aim at that thing, correct? Almost took out Kanji. Zenkun, wrong target. I know they look alike, but not that one. I'm sorry. I had them confused. <laughs> yes! We got it! The hell was that? It killed an FOE in one hit. So that's what you meant by brutally lethal. It wasn't redundant at all. But what weapon isn't lethal? It's just a figure of speech. C'est magnifique! I'd like to harness this destructive power in the Kirijo Group's R&D labs. Oh, that's not the reaction I was hoping for when I baked it! Uh, that was hell! Is everyone okay? Yes. Everyone besides Kanji-kun, that is. The real enemy was within us. But I did it. Ugh. Hey, Kanji! Hang in there! Wait, what the... What's in his hand? Could this be... a loincloth? <laughs> the spoils of war. Could work. Man, how'd you guys make a weapon strong enough to kill an FOE in one shot? If we had more of that, the rest of this mission would be a breeze. You can't make it a breeze. Sorry. What the hell's going on here? Well, I'd rather not say. It was our only option at the time. Suffice to say, it's a method we'll never be able to repeat. Huh? C come now! This is the final labyrinth. Everyone, let's brace ourselves. Yeah! Let's keep at it just a little longer!
I'll leave it to you. Meat, meat, meat! Leader, you're so reliable. Good job. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Yo. <sighs> huh? Are you serious? No, man. Hey, simmer down. No way. Yeah, uh, you see. Oh, man. Damn, that's amazing. Come on. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. My bad. Nice job, man. Later. What? Stop! Here I go! Huh? Um...
cheese. Okay. So, um... Oh, what the hell is this? You can't be serious. Yes. Nah, nah. Oh, 
おそらく。
すみません。行きましょう。なんだ
やめとけって。Kind of hungry. Guess it makes sense, though. I've pretty much been fighting non stop since I got here. I should find a place to rest. I want to hurry, but I can't keep pushing myself like this. Um, excuse me? Yeah. You're a student, right? Please, I need your help. Hey, hey, calm down. I'm Hyde Keto. Mind if I ask your name? Oh, sorry. I'm Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko, huh? I take it you came from another world too? Something like that. I was with a friend earlier, but we got split up. But that's not the problem right now. The, the curry! Huh? Curry? By curry, do you mean curry? Curry? Like the food? What's curry even doing in a world like this? Yukiko! Oh no! Where did you go? I'm not gonna let you escape on your own! Platinum Chun! Hey! Can't you see you're upsetting her? What do you want with her anyway? Huh? The hell are you? Some punk outsider getting in my face and acting all high and mighty all of a sudden? Just back off! Or do you want to eat the curry too? Again with the curry? <laughs> What's the big deal about this curry? W wait! Both of you! Please wait! Uh, Luna! She's already here! Uh, you're right, Senna. Huh? Who are you talking to? There you have it. There's nowhere to run, Yukiko. No! Hey, uh, Yukiko? What's going on here? Why are you so scared? <sighs> I finally caught up to you. What's the matter, you two? You ran off right as we were sitting down to eat. How many of you girls are there? Um, who are you? Oh, me? I'm Hyde. Hyde Keto, but... Nice to meet you, Hyde. I'm Lieutenant Noelle Vermillion. Well, I guess I'm not a lieutenant anymore. By the way, Hyde, would you like to have dinner with us? Dinner? I mean, I guess that explains the curry, but... This seems kind of out of the blue. The three of us made it together. We found the ingredients and cooking utensils just lying around. That's right, but we made a little too much. Well, might as well not look a gift horse in the mouth. I am pretty hungry, so I might as well. Keto-kun, don't! Great, I'll go ahead and make you a plate. Yeah. All right, help yourself. Is this curry? Hmm? Yeah, just regular curry. Why does it look metallic? Oh, well, that's interesting. Maybe it's because we used ingredients from this world. But don't worry about the flavor. It's real curry through and through. I guarantee it. Hell no, it's not. This is definitely not curry. There's no way. The pressure coursing out of this dish. It's as if the Hollow Knight was simmered in a pot and served up on a plate. Screw the flavor guarantee. I just want to know if I'll survive. I, is it my fault? Yukiko? Once I split up with my friend, I wandered around lost before stumbling onto these two. They said they were making curry, so I thought I'd help. I just never thought it would turn out like that. It, don't blame yourself. All you did was help them, right? I can't imagine you did anything that would cause this to happen. I thought things looked a, a little odd while we were cooking. But by the time I realized it, it was already too late. A little? By then, the curry was done. And Platinum Chan. Say no more. I can imagine what happened next. But this is just an accident. A natural disaster, not anyone's fault. It happens. Um, what have you guys been talking about? Her obliviousness is truly evil. You. Noel, right? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to pass on the curry. Huh? There's no way I would eat that. 
I mean, there's no way I would let poor Yukiko eat that. But, but, then, do you want it platinum? Huh? Oh, um, Luna's already full. S Senna, you're hungry, right? Luna, why do you always make me eat the weird stuff? I don't want my mouth to explode again. Explode? Please tell me that's just a figure of speech. Hey, Yukiko, I told you I'm not gonna let you escape after what I had to go through. You two, Blondie, take the damn plate. I said that's not gonna happen. Ugh, damn it, how do I get out of this? You could always settle things with a tag battle. Yeah, you're right. If we had a tag battle, we'd... Wait, not you again. God, you always show up out of nowhere. Hey, don't give me that attitude. I'm just trying to help. Anyway, when you said settle things, what you mean? Isn't it obvious? You guys do a tag battle match, and the loser eats the curry. Simple. <gasps> what? Uh, why does anyone have to eat the... It's settled. We're doing this right here, right now. The loser eats the curry, and that's final. Hey, hey, wait. Don't be so hasty. No objections that I can hear. And anyone who complains has to eat a big spoonful of that curry as a penalty. Oh, that's a hell of a way to keep us quiet. This is turning into a battle that I can't afford to lose. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to involve you like this. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Yukiko. There's no way I'd let you eat that curry. Enough with the talking. Let's see you young guns fire at each other. And done! Team Hyde and Yukiko win! Sheesh. I figured I'd have to fight over the Keystone, but curry? I'm a million years. Damn it! We lost! Um, does that mean... The losing team platinum and all of the remaining curry. Oh, there's so much left. I don't know if we can eat it all. But we did just exercise. I think that if we try hard enough, we can do it. Right, Platinum? Uh, I, I... Huh? Platinum, what's wrong? I can't take that curry anymore! Th Platinum? Where are you going? Wait! D hey, come back! I still have some questions! on that one, buddy. Um... Are you hungry, Keto-kun? I think I could use the leftover ingredients to make curry. Sorry, but no. I don't even want to look at curry after all this. 